On Saturday down in Ripon, it was the end of an era. A truly beautiful day celebrating a coach who gave everything to a community, who in return gave him and his family all they could ever ask for. Since September of 1991, Ron Ernst has roamed the sidelines for the Rippin Red Hawks. Rippin means everything to him and he means everything to them. 32 years later, the head coach led his team onto the field one last time. It's been a heck of a run, it really has, and uh, couldn't be happier with, with these guys here. <laughs> well before kickoff, Ingalls Field was filled with not only fans and players, but family members, alumni, and so many who were influenced by the man who made Ripon football what it is today. It was on the calendar since the moment he said he was retiring. We knew we had to be back here for this game. Ernst says when he first took over the job, he couldn't have imagined he'd still be here more than three decades later. I knew that we could really have something special here. I really did. In a short amount of time, he turned a losing program into a winning one. I was hoping to have some success. We were hoping to have good things happen, and uh, you just you just never know. But when we started our first recruiting full recruiting class, and they we really started to turn things around, you could see that we could we could do something special here. Players say he was a coach who always held them accountable. And he was relentless. He never let us take plays off in games or in practice. So. But what made him successful was that he connected with each and every individual player off the field. Well, no matter what's going on with you and your life, you know, or what's going on with him and his life, he's always just going to sit down, have a conversation, and talk to you. Wins and losses came and went, as did players. All Ernst wanted was to turn them into productive young men. To me, that's success. Whether we win a game or not, it's about turning out young men that are going to be very successful in those parts of their life. It was only fitting that his last game was against Lawrence University, a football rivalry dating back to 1893. Just absolutely destroying Lawrence, which makes it even more sweet. It, it, it's, it's a storybook ending. The Red Hawks sent their coach out with the Midwest Conference Championship after an 82-0 win. It just couldn't have been a more perfect day to end today. It really was. And even after three plus decades, it was hard to let him go. <laughs> Very proud of every single one of you. This is who we are, and uh, uh, this community has done nothing but great things for our family, and uh, we're just very lucky. We just really are. Dozens of former Ripon players came back to celebrate the day, but even one player who Ernst coached in high school in Osceola, Nebraska in the 80s made the trip, helping send his former coach off riding into the sunset. So congrats, Coach Ernst, on a stellar career. But we'll be right back.